came over to timekeeper Mike Murtha and reminded him, when you hammer the bell, you hammer it hard. We've got to be sure of hearing it. Oh, everybody's expected a good fight tonight. Mickey Ward starts oh. off with a left hook upstairs, not the trademark punch. That one goes to the ribs, but perhaps a reminder to Gaddy, I'll throw it up here too. Gaddy's take on how to fight Mickey Ward, who is a body puncher destroyer. Well, he says, body punchers don't like it to the body. I'll hit him in the rib cage too. And I think he's gonna do that too. But Here's another big sure. left hook. Mickey's not gonna get behind on punch in this fight in case he gets stopped on an accidental injury. That's for sure. He's coming out off the bat. Normally a slower starter who sort of builds tempo as the fight goes on, but that's a good point. He probably learned a bit of a lesson in Texas about the importance of getting off early. Yes, but he's also going to learn the importance of throwing a straight right hand, too, because that looping right hand is not going to be effective tonight. Gaddy's been all over the scale, 130, 135, up to 147. Now back to 140. I think he may finally be fighting Emmanuel at his most effective weight. Yes, and he shows combination punching skill there. And there's a cut on the right, on the Mickey Ward. right eye of uh, Mickey Ward. It's on the corner. I don't know if it's dangerous, but from that left hook that Gaddy land, landed earlier. Gaddy's looking very good. His troopers punch is real loose, freely. Everything is flowing beautiful, and he's moving out of the way very gracefully. Yeah, Arturo looks good in there, as he's already opened up the cut above Ward's right eye, same eye over which Ward was cut, and has lost to Vince Phillips. Stop, stop, and it looks, it does look like stop. a bad cut, Looks Jim. deep. Well, you know, we mentioned the two cut men, Al Gavin and Joe Souza. You don't normally hear those names in the pre-fight on camera, but it was necessary tonight. That's right, and if he can make it back to the corner, Al Gavin is a good cut man. In fact, both of them are good cut men. Al's as good as there is. If there's anybody who's that good, it's Joe Souza who's across the yes. way. So both guys may end up bleeding if this fight continues after the way that it's going. Well, any fight in which Arturo doesn't bleed is an upset. Arturo. Look at the combinations, though, from Gaddy. Everything is flowing beautiful, very natural. The fighters who are customarily give Gaddy trouble have jabs, and we haven't seen any jabs or many jabs coming from Ward. Now that's a great point, Larry. In his losses to Ivan Robinson and Angel Manfredi, he was beaten to the jab. Ward walks in without jabbing. That's perfect for Gaddy. Arturo looking over at us as if to say, I agree with the call. This is Gavin to the right of your screen, and you can see that Al has already gone to work. I believe, as Larry said, on an Arturo Gatti left hook. Well, the cut's already there. Bad of problems as a cut may be, I think the biggest problem that Ward is having is dealing with the rhythm right now, Gaddy. Gaddy's got his rhythm to move it. He's doing everything very natural. Everything is flowing smoothly. And I think it's going to continue that way unless Mickey steps it up. Mickey's going to have to crowd Arturo against the ropes. He won't beat Gaddy in the middle of the ring. Gaddy simply has better feet. That's a good fact. And, he, and also upper body movement. Gaddy's moving his upper body, not just moving. He's moving, bobbing, and weaving. Mixing up his punches very well. Uppercut, left hook. Gaddy firing from all angles. It looks so far as though the marriage of Gaddy and Buddy McGirt is paying huge dividends for Arturo's he, basic craft. Absolutely, he looks very good. He's doing a more variety of things, but the most part, Mickey's very predictable right now. And, and, and the speed and the different movements is really confusing Mickey. You can see it if you study his mind. 
But we've seen Mickey Ward lose every minute of every round and win the fight, as he did against Alfonso Sanchez. He can never count him out. Let him go, let him go, let him go. having problems with the power that Gaddy's got because he, he Gaddy's a good punch he turns all of his body to his punches and he's what we call a free punch he lets all of his body turn all the way through stop, very stop, loose stop. and natural and it's the variety of things that he's doing that's really causing a lot of problems you understand? whereas Mickey is, is very uh, predictable plus I think the punching power of Gaddy in addition to his boxing is very effective yeah, between rounds, when we focused on Ward's corner to watch Al Gavin work the cut, I'm told that Arturo Gaddy's people, trainer Buddy McGirt in particular, were telling him, you've got too much power for Mickey. He's not used to facing power like yours. At this stage, he's got a little bit of too much of everything. Started to say, I think it's the speed more than the power. The speed, and, and he's shooting uppercuts, left hooks, right hands over the shoulder, a variety of things. Numbers. Arturo threw 70 punches in round one. He's going to wind up throwing more than 70 at this rate in round two. And he's connecting at a high percentage. And Ward is just occasionally getting in a pot shot here and there. The impressive thing about what Gaddy is doing is that when he throws those combinations, he's not staying there long enough to get hit in return. Now Ward is doing exactly what he should do. Now he's closing the distance now to try to neutralize some of the movements. He's closing the distance before he punches. Keep the punches up. And now keep Cappuccino warning Gaddy to keep punches up. So let's make a note that there was a verbal warning at the end of Listen, when he gets close to you, keep your hands up. Now he's trying to get that body shot. So when he gets close to you, just keep him turning, okay? You're boxing beautiful. Just keep using the speed, okay? Straight right hand. You can punch on him all day long. You just stand there. Head movement, double jab. Head movement, double jab. You're over here right, but you got to keep your right hand up. Yeah. All he's looking for is a hook or an uppercut on yeah. you. That's it. Okay. Deep breath. Come on, you're used to 30 seconds. Put that back. Come on, man. Come on, man. Box numbers through the second round, Arturo Gatti averaging 29 jabs thrown per round. That makes it very difficult for Ward, who doesn't really have a jab, to start his attack. But Ward seems to be applying more pressure now and trying to get close, and he's going to have to continue doing that. He can't sit back at a distance. He's going to have to get very close to Gatti if he's got any chance of pulling this fight off. And he's going to have to trust that Al Gatti can keep the cut under control and keep him in the fight even as he presses both. Yes, he does. Gavin Singley have did a good job. Usually a good cut band takes two rounds before the blood really coagulates. Hard left hook by Artura Gatti. Gatti landing a lot of punches cleanly and sharply. Ward trying to faint his way inside. Looks as though Gaddy is so conscious of Ward's left hook that there might be an opening here for Ward to land the right hand, but he's not really quick with the right the way That's he is right. with the left. See, Ward is primarily dealing with one punch for the most part. It's most of the punch is going to strip his left hand, and most good fighters can, can neutralize that. He's going to have to stay much, just as he's doing now, he's going to have to continue to do that, to stay close. Gaddy. Turning away from Ward at the ropes and back to the center of the ring. Well, he's not going to be able to deal with Gaddy's speed anyway, so he's just going to stay close to him. That's the only chance he's got. Stop, stop, stop. Earlier in the round, Ward left, landed his first good hook to the body. He has, right. to, he has to do more of that if he's going to be there in the second There's half of the one. fight. another one. He just landed his second and, good left hook to the body. You've got to remember also that Gaddy himself cuts up and swells up pretty bad himself. Well, and, and if anything will take Gaddy's foot movement away, it would be that left hook to the body. If Ward could get it in there. And he's getting closer and closer now. What Gaddy's people have been most concerned about is just this kind of stuff that will keep Ward in the fight long enough to bust up yeah. Gaddy. Yep, and 
Yeah, here, you're comes right the, there. here comes the Lowell, Massachusetts contingent rising to the occasion for their fighter. Yeah, and here's yeah. Eddie with some of that. I'll give it yes. to him in the body medicine. Now the fighters turned out to be what we expected. So much for the boxing. They're standing up in round three. Maybe that by those body punches slowed Gotti down a little bit. And now he's trying to slow Ward down with body punches too. Good sharp left hook upstairs by Gatti. Uppercuts for Arturo. Fast hands. Ward's cut opening again. Ward has got to keep it in tight like that. It's That's what they came here for. <laughs> what are you doing? You got his respect. Listen to me. When you get inside, don't take that body shot, Arturo. Don't listen to me. You finish beautiful. Don't, you don't have to take that shot. Don't take it. As soon as you get inside, go to your left. Round four begins. In round three, the two fighters, by CompuBox estimate, landed a combined 53 power shots. 30 for Gaddy, 23 for Ward. Harold, how do you have it so far? Okay, Jim, three to nothing, 30 to 27, Arturo Gaddy. Jim, I gotta tell you, Arturo Gaddy showing us not only beautiful combinations, but really, really nice ring generalship. It's a big ring, probably something like 22 feet. He's moving beautifully, keeping Mickey Ward off balance. When he did stand still in the last minute of round three, he ripped those shots to the body. Always combinations. I think Arturo Gatti's won all three rounds, although the third one was close. Given that Ward is the New England fighter, Manny, you have to be surprised at the size of the ring. Yes, I thought it would be a smaller ring to favor him, but it, right now the ring is a big ring, which really would favor Gatti since he's coming to this fight, predicted that he would be the boxer. Gatti's left eye beginning to swell. No blood yet. Gaddy's left eye swells in virtually every fight. That's because of those high cheekbones that he has. Oh, good right, right hand. hand. Good right hand. Good right hand. Good right hand. And Gaddy good right hand. And, and he hurt him with that right hand, too. Gaddy trying to clear his head, comes back with his own buckets. Now the Warriors are going to come out of both of those guys. I don't think the boxing is going to be too much from this point on. I think Gaddy's going to have to fight Mickey because Mickey's putting too much pressure on him now. And he's going to resort back to what he's been doing most of his career, and that's to punch. Gaddy to the body. Gaddy with uppercut. Right hand. Oh, this is good stuff. Looks like there's blood coming now from Ward's mouth. But we saw Ward in those type of fights. Remember the fight with Emmanuel Burton, so this is just one of his normal fights. Fight of the year for 2001, Ward Burton. Broke a lot of coffee oh records. Oh, that's another right hand fight. Mickey Ward. Gaddy takes this one a little better, but he's been rocked in this round. Oh, big left hook by Ward. Big left hook by Gaddy. In that fight against Emmanuel Burton, the 35-year-old Ward averaged 118 punches around. And he was surprising me now. He's coming back with a beautiful short right hand. That's what his most effective punch about has been the right hand now, more so than the body punch. Frank Cappuccino. You see. Now, he's got five minutes. To the end of the round. They've sounded a bell it, to end the round. Keep doing it. You know what's happening. Okay. Senior, go ahead. Harold, why did the round end? Okay, Jim. 
Let me tell you something. It's miscommunication between the referee and the timekeeper. When Frank Cappuccino saw that low blow, there's no question he should have yelled time out. At which point, Mickey Ward would have up to five minutes to recover. If he can't, you know, continue up to five minutes, he loses. But the timekeeper never stopped the clock. And that's all there was to it. He kept let, he let it run. He let the round run out. Does he have five minutes now? The board still have five, no, yeah. No, 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 absolutely not. One minute rest period. Let's take a look and see if the blow was low. Yes, it was. Yep. That's how we saw it. I'm all set, I wanna go. Mickey, you heard Mickey Ward. He's all set, he wants to go. Why is that not a surprise? And round four, both guys threw more than 30 power shots and landed more than half. So it is becoming the slugfest everyone anticipated, despite Arturo Gatti's skillful efforts to make it a boxing match in the early rounds. He takes three plus power shots. But he doesn't return fire until Gaddy is finished, which invites Gaddy to keep going. Emmanuel, how discouraging is it to Arturo to have landed the kind of bombs he's landed? It's got to because he's treading full force on those shots. And actually hasn't really hurt Ward. He hits exactly. him with the punches. Full force, and Ward may wiggle a lot from the impact of it and move his, lose his balance, but he's never shown that he's been seriously hurt yet. And the only one to me that's been hurt has been Gaddy in the time, he got hit with a short right hand. Absolutely. Another short right hand by Ward again. We're about halfway through the round right now. We've lost our round clock. About a minute and a half to go in the round now. Blood begins to flow from above Ward's right eye again. But look at the distance oh. between the two fighters. This is oh. becoming Mickey Ward's fight. They're fighting in a phone booth, and that's the way he wants it. You know, this is reminiscent of a fight many years back since we're speaking of the 50s of a guy named Colin Basilio and Tony DiMarco. Basilio, one of the fighters I mentioned at the beginning of the night. Yes. You know, you could take those white trunks off and put one pair of white and one pair of black on, and we could go all the way back to the 50s. It is man against man in there. Oh. This bout is scheduled for 10. Well, I'll tell you what, the fans are going to get 12 rounds of action out of 10 rounds tonight. No, they're going to get 15 rounds. More. Oh, look at that! Look at that combination! And the two of them! Oh, and his right eye is bleeding! Yeah. The blood begins to oh. And he's loaded up every punch! A tremendous rally by Mickey Ward! And the timekeeper can't seem to get it straight when to ring the bell. I see what Frank Cappuccino was saying now. Yep. Well, touch him, touch him, and turn out. You stay on the side, take an unnecessary body punishment. Don't take it. Let's just wake you. Come on, baby. We got to suck it up like a champ now. We yeah, talked earlier of the, shots. of the tremendous... Everything that he's shooting is landing pretty good, turning all of his body weight through on every punch. And at this stage, if you don't look closer, you think that Ward is about to give. And here Ward's coming back. And I didn't think that Gaddy was expecting to throw that many punches, especially the short punches that he's shooting. All right, we're halfway through. We talked about the amazing condition and endurance and will of Ward. And we saw it in that round how he came back at Gaddy as, as Emmanuel, as you mentioned, Gaddy hasn't had to throw that many punches for a long time. No, and, and, and he's landed some beautiful shots. 
But, you know, and, and as I said earlier, now Gaddy is starting to swell up and, and bleed also. But at this stage, I would still have Gaddy with him, but it looks very promising for Mickey. Because Mickey has not been hurt yet. He's been hit with some great shots, but he's never staggered away from it all. Gentlemen, in the fifth round, they landed 98 punches. My CompuBox estimate, 88 of them power shots. Almost evenly distributed. Oh, keep that control there. A hellacious round. So the pace slows slightly here in round six. Get his fight this sticks is going to come out now, and it's going to be nothing but a slug for I think, for the most part. Man. And I think Ward is going to put enough pressure on him where he can't really box him. He's going to have to fight. If Mickey Ward wants to come to you, he will walk through a hailstorm of punishment to do it. And you better watch that short right hand that he's trying to get close to shoot over the shoulder now. That seemed to be his key punch. He's Dang, turning he's it over it again, yes. He's turning it over like never before. And that's just as dangerous as the left hook to the body is at this point in the fight. Oh, oh what a haymaker by Gaddy. And Ward just comes right back. Business as usual. Big left hook by Gaddy. Ward says, I'll walk with you over here. Relentless. That's the right hand again. And he should just straight across the shoulder as if he's anticipating the movement of Getty. Instead of shooting at Getty's head a lot, Ward is shooting it straight at his shoulders and he's catching him because most of the time, Getty tries to avoid the right by going down instead of pulling away. But Gaddy is fighting a good round here. He's winning this round big. He's, he's gone back to some movement, throwing combinations, trying to move away, standing and fighting, moving again, trying to move his upper body. This is a very good uh, Gaddy we're looking at here. Yep, in the War of Wills, Gaddy has taken it to another step. And now Ward is going to have to reimpose himself yes, as he did in rounds four Gattis, and five. Gaddy's went back to boxing. I don't think he would, but he's went back to boxing. He's working a very effective too. Yep. And Joe Souza did such great work that I see no blood on Gaddy's right eye. Ward pounds his heart as if to say, I can take you anything you can give. And he can. That's it, baby. That's the key. Listen to me. He's in the same fight you're in. Okay? He's feeling the same tired as you, if not tired. Nice and smart. Okay, now when he gets close to you, listen to me. If you don't feel like punching, move your upper body. He's not going to do anything. Okay, then go back to the jab. You're seeing you on the ropes. You touch, touch, touch. Keep doing that till you get that second win. Take a deep breath. You know what I would do? Nick, you got to back him up. He's hitting it here. He's hitting it here, man. Do it back, please. Come on, come on, let's go. People in boxing have been looking forward to this fight for a couple of years. They're getting what they were looking forward to. And six rounds in the books, four more to go. Harold, how do you have it? Okay, Jim, four rounds to two, 57-56, Arturo Gatti. Jim, uh, Mickey Ward gets an extra point in the fourth round because Frank Cappuccino took away a point for a low blow. It may be crucial at the end of this fight. Round five, I thought Mickey Ward pulled out because sometimes what you do in the last 30 seconds is just an accumulation of what you've done in the first two and a half minutes. And it was a great rally by Ward at the end of round five. Round Six Arturo Gaddy comes back strong. Four to two Gaddy, but Gaddy by only one point. I have Gaddy ahead four, one, and one even because of that point taken away. And for the moment, Gaddy has succeeded in tempting Ward back into a boxing match. Yes, he has. Gaddy's doing a beautiful no, no, job. He's no. going back to his boxing, his corners instructor. He's mixing up his attack once again. Mickey seems to be confused. And you heard the impassioned speech between rounds by Buddy McGirt, who's been there against some terrific fighters and is turning out to be a very good trainer. Ward pops that Gaddy again with that right hand. I wonder what 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 kind of brains are head that both of these guys have. I mean, they get him with punches right on the chin, and it seems like it just stimulates him. Well, there's another right hand again, and it comes right back. 
Big yeah. counter left hook by Gaddy there as Ward was a little long with the straight right hand. Left it out there. Arturo popped it. Good, good. That's what I want to see. I, I think I think Gaddy's doing beautiful with his new style of boxing. He's mixing up his work, boxing beautiful. But still, he's the big puncher. He still sets down every once in a while and makes you respect him. He can still fight. Yes, and I love his punching power. Through six rounds, Gaddy landed more than 200 punches, most of them on the face of Mickey Ward. And here comes Ward. Let him go, let him go, let him out. You can't stop him. For a big fight, most fighters like to try something new in training. Ward's innovation this time around was to rest only 30 seconds between rounds of sparring. Yeah, but I don't think nothing can prepare him for this type of a fight here. Not only with a guy who's a busy fighter, but also a great puncher. At this stage, Mickey's been outdone in terms of talent, skills, but not in terms of heart. He's always trying, but I let him go. just let him go. one step behind. Come on, come on. turned southpaw here at the end of the round. To no great effect. We got 10 minutes, baby. Can we get 10 minutes? Yes. Okay, listen to me, baby. When he gets close to you, Arturo, if you're not going to punch, have your hands up. Just move. He's got, he, he don't want to fight no more. Okay, he's looking for the one shot. And go back to the... You got left. I'm all right. All right. Yeah. Put it on him now. Okay. You gotta use Eighth everything round. with your left hand, Mick. Everything with your left. Yeah. Bang the shit out of him. Mick, don't be a punch bag. You're gonna be a punch bag. I'm not gonna let this go right. like this. Fight hot. Dick Eklund, Ward's brother and trainer, said he's not gonna let him be a punching bag. Don't take okay. so many okay. punches. Can he start to avoid him? Is he, I, no. is, is he Mickey Ward if he does avoid them? I don't think he can avoid it. I think all he can do is just try to fight his way through the trouble because he's not going to ever avoid all let of those go, punches. Gaddy is extremely sharp tonight. Gaddy threw 31 jabs in the seventh round. If he keeps throwing 30 jabs around, it's going to be awfully difficult for Ward to reel him in. It's going to set up the chance for Arturo to outbox Ward down the stretch as he's done through most of the first seven. It's hard for me looking at the wars that I've saw Gaddy in, and he's fought all of the, I mean, great wars and all of the top fighters. To see him moving like this, like a young fighter, just totally amazing to me. And those wars you saw in the ring, he had some equally vicious wars with the champagne bottle and the nightlife oh, on yes. the circuit in New Jersey. You know, but he's gone, through <laughs> he's gone through changes before. As an amateur, he was a boxer. Early in his pro career, he was a brawler. Then he changed to a boxer to win the 130-pound title from Tracy Patterson. Then he became a brawler again, and here he is back to boxing. Just the fact that he's here is amazing. You give his, his management team great credit for taking him off for a couple of years to help restore him and give him easy fights and not use him up because most of us didn't expect to see him still in the ring at the age of 30. He's got a manager named Pat Lynch who's been as loyal and steadfast as any manager in boxing can be with Arturo Gatti. He's kept his career alive. Yes, but even with all of that, there's something unusually physically in this man for this man to take all of this. He's just one of those gifted guys like Yvonne Durrell. He just run across guys like that sometimes. Another, another Canadian. Another, that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. Absolutely. I thought that's why you were using Durrell <laughs> as the standard there. And I you thought know, it was a given. And you know, all of the punches oh, Durrell took, when you meet him, he speaks like a, a British scholar. Go, so very, go. very smart, intelligent man. Uh, you don't fight with your head, Arthur. There's that right hand again. Starts to come on. Crowd gets back into it. Yeah. 
Gaddy throwing a few change-ups, and then the high hard one. Again, left-right combination landed flush. Ward bleeding heavily. And Gaddy was hurt by a left and a right. That is hurt. Good. And this... Oh, my gosh! <laughs> oh. oh, my <laughs> goodness! <laughs> you better suck it up! What a fight! It looks like Mickey Ward is going to try to pull off another Emmanuel Burden. Throw the right hand to the body, Arturo. Okay? Come on, baby. Come on, Arturo. Listen to me. We got six minutes. Arturo, you got six minutes. Give me the six minutes for Jerry. That's it. It started with that short right hand again. You know, this fight is just turning back and forth so much, and I think the body shot in there had a lot of effect on him, and I don't know if Arturo is going to fully recuperate from that volley. We know can keep fighting through this kind of action. Ward landed yes. 42 out of 71 punches. We're in not round. sure about Gaddy because right. he hasn't yeah. been in this kind of a war with as a strong a fighter as Ward before. That body shot again. That's the body shot. It's the left hook to the body. Ward's money punch. And this knockdown counts. And he is hurt. This is it. It's, it's not going to recover. It's not like a head punch. He may not be able to recover. I don't think so. And, and Ward is going to go right back down there again. Right to the body again. He's still hurting from the body punch also still. In addition to the head. Arturo Gatti refusing to go down as Mickey Ward pounds away. In the past, this is where Arturo Gatti has been dangerous. But Ward should go back to the body again. Gatti risking another low blow penalty to try to get Ward off of him and lands another big shot. Burton, did Ward punch himself out? for the time being with yes. that tremendous barrage in the first minute. Just look at this. Unbelievable. Can you believe there's still a minute and a half to go in the round? Gaddy blinking away the blood in his right eye. Can't see out of the right eye. Vicious body shots by Gaddy. Ward nods as if to say, come on. trying to get a break. Ward should go right back to the body. That, that's where he needs to go to the body. You know, you dream of fights, I guess, but the very seldom do they live up to the expectation. This is even more than you can dream of. Just imagine if you bought a ticket. Stop it, Frank. You can stop it any time. Arturo Gatti's out on his feet. Frank Capitino's going to let him keep going. Gatti doesn't even have the strength to tie Ward up. And, and Ward is tied. Ward's and here comes Gatti back. Less than 10 seconds in the round. Gatti's going to survive the round. should be the round of the century. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm not going to let you take this punishment. Okay? Now look at me. Look at me, Arturo. Tell me something. This guy is done. done. Mickey Ward right, said right he would see, Gaddy got hurt with the body shot. And that that's did more damage. Now he's coming back. Mickey Ward said he would retire if he loses this fight. 
from the way Gaddy went back to the corner. In, in most conditions, this fight would have been stopped right here. He may have more fighting left in him. Gentlemen, in round nine, by CompuBox numbers, this fight's going to be stopped. Nope, it's not. corner. All the way back. All the way back. I thought Buddy McGirt was going to stop it. Uh, no. After now having said to his fighter, we wouldn't let him go. take any more punishment. Now we're going to go. Round 10. In round 9, they landed 110 punches between them. And they were all power shots. Harold, what's your scorecard? Okay, Jim. 85-84. Mickey won. I think that it's pulled ahead with that shot that knocked that turn. He certainly won the eighth round, so I got Mickey one up by a point. Interestingly enough, this round is 30 seconds short because that timekeeper never stopped the damn clock at the beginning of the round. That's right. This round's only going to be about two and a half minutes. Which is good news for Gaddy. He's come out and asserted himself again at the beginning of the round. But does Gaddy have a full two minutes left in the tank? I'm pretty sure Ward does. Ward looks hurt now, yeah. but he's he keeps coming. Ward has got it, but he's going to have to let it go because the clock is ticking. And it, at this point, Gaddy's winning a round, and this may be the crucial round of the fight. I think Gaddy's having trouble seeing out of both eyes now, Emmanuel. Yes. But he doesn't have trouble firing away. Hard body shot by Gaddy. Knocks Ward back. Ward is exhausted. Gaddy sees that and seems to have taken some yes, and he's taking fresh air from it. And he's winning his fight now. humbled by watching these two guys no, no, take the no, punishment no, no, no. they are taking. Well, we told you it might be a candidate for fight of the year. We didn't know it would be a candidate for fight of the century. This is the way it has to end. Majority decision. Judge Frank Lombardi scores the bout 94 94, a draw. Judge Richard Flaherty scores it 94 93. Judge Steve Weisfeld sees it. 95, 93, all to the winner by majority decision, Irish.